Open our Bible to the book of Jeremiah 48. Jeremiah 48. Warring against destroyer demons. Warring against destroyer demons. Jeremiah 48 verses 1 to 13. Prophecies against Moab for pride and security. Verse 1. As in each of the prophecies for the nations, Moab, Moab to the prophecy of Moab coming, Moab's coming destruction is described as if it has already happened. The oracle to Moab, to Moab is, is, is lengthy because of Israel and Judah's long history with that country. The judgment begins with the word woe, woe, indicating a time of mourning has come. Verse 7, much as he accuses Judah and Egypt, Yahweh specifies that Moab trust too much in its achievements. Consequently, its false god Shemosh or Chemosh, priests and princes, will suffer. Shemash was the national deity of the Moabites, whose name most likely, uh, Shemash, Shemash or Chemosh name uh, uh, likely means destroyer, subduer, or, or, or fish god. While he is most readily associated with the Moabite, according to Judge 11 verse 24, he seems to have been the national deity of the Ammonites, Ammonites as well. Verses 8 to 9. No city in the entire country will survive the invasion and all the citizens of Moab will either die or be captured. Verse 10. Yahweh is so intent on fulfilling the nation's judgment that he takes a break from detailing its sin to motivate to motivate his instrument to justify his instrument the Babylonians to act swiftly the Chaldeans are to destroy the Moabites we should be thankful that we are required to seek the salvation uh, of people's life and the salvation of their souls not to shed their blood, but we shall be the more without excuse if we do not, if you, if we do this pleasant work deceitfully, the cities shall be laid in ruin, and the country shall be wasted. There will be great sorrow. There will be great hurry if any if any could give wings to sinners and still they could not fly out of the reach of divine indignation there are many who persist in in unrepented in on in repented unrepented iniquity yet long enjoy outward prosperity they had been long corrupt and unreformed, secure and essential in prosperity. They, they have no changes in their peace and prosperity. Therefore, their hearts and lives are unchanged, as it is said in Psalm 55 verse 19. Jeremiah 48 verses 1 verses 14 to 47 destruction for because of carnal confidence and contempt of Yahweh verses 14 to 17 the idea that Moab's warriors will be able to defend against Yahweh's justice is laughable when Yahweh decrees his judgment for Moab it is time for the people to begin their mourning for the nation and expect to see examples of its destruction. Verse 18, cities on hills are often the safest and manage to avoid destruction, but Yahweh calls those in Dion 
in Gibbon, Gibbon, who survives, who for survived the initial destruction to come down from the hill and experience it for themselves. Yahweh links the destruction of the country to that of the individual citizens. Verses 21 to 24. These verses list all the communities of Moab that are destroyed. Verse 25. The imagery of a mature, a mature stack that loses its own uh, 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 or a person whose arm is broken is used to describe the crippled state of Moab. Verse 26, as in Jeremiah 25, Yahweh describes Moab as drinking uncomfort, uncontrollably from a cup. The people's gluttony leads to their illness and destruction verses 27 to 28 when israel was weak moab took advantage of that weakness now yahweh instructs the moabites to flee the assyrians and take up refuge in hiding places like animals verses 29 to 30 in addition to being idol worshippers and opportunists, the Moabites are also arrogant and prideful. But Yahweh observes that this pride is misplaced and futile. Verses 31 to 32. As a result of Moab's misplaced pride, the mourning for the nation will be thorough. Uh, seen by the specific groups Yahweh is, is mourning for and the mourning will be even more intense than other instances known in history. Verse 33, the wine presses that once kept more in economic prosperity will quiet, will, will, will quit, will quit working and no income will be produced. Verses 34 to 35, the destruction will be so far reaching. Jeremiah prophesies that Moab will be destroyed, will be destroyed as a people because of its idolatry. Verses 36 to 39, Yahweh mourns as if at a funeral for a nation that once prospered but now is destroyed. The survivors wear the, the markings and, and the behaviors of slaves horrified at the estate. Verse 40, the eagle is an often seen image of destruction in biblical te the texts. Verses 41 to 42. The invasion brings great pain and the country of Moab will be destroyed because of its arrogance. Verses 43 to 45. Anyone who lives in Moab will experience punishment and escape is impossible. The destruction moves from city to city throughout the country and the destruction and harm are intense. Verse 46, the God that the Moabites had worshipped, the God that they had worshipped has, has felled them. And the Moabite children are taken captive by the invading nation, a method of destroying an entire culture. History shows indeed that the people of Moab will assimilate into other cultures and cease to have a genetic identity. The destruction of Moab is further prophesied to awaken them by national repentance and reformation to prevent the trouble and by a personal repentance and uh, and uh, reformation to prepare for it. 
in reading this long roll of warnings and mediating on the terror it will be of more use to us to keep us in view the power of Yahweh's anger and the terror the terror of his judgments and to have our hearts possessed with a holy awe of Yahweh and and his wrath then to search into all the figures and expressions he used yet it is not perpetual destruction the chapter ends with a promise of their return out of captivity in the latter days even with Moabites Yahweh will not contend forever he will not contend forever nor be always angry the Jews refer it to the days of the Messiah and then the captives of the Gentiles under the yoke of sin and Satan shall be brought back by divine grace which shall make them free indeed know this and the Lord Yahweh will bless you let us take these prayer points there are many we're going to pray each once let us pray this is this is this is war against the destroyer demons. Let us pray. Woe to the destroyer demons series, for they will be ruined. In the name of Yeshua, thou series of destroyer demons, be disgraced and captured, your stronghold disgraced and shattered by the mighty sword of Yahweh. In the name of Yeshua, your kingdom will be praised no more. People will plot your downfall to put an end to your nation in the name of Yeshua. You, people of the destroyer demon city, be silenced for Yahweh's sword pursues you in the name of Yeshua. Cries of anguish arise from your cities. Cries of great havoc and destruction in the name of Yeshua, your kingdom is being broken. Her little ones cry out. Your defenseless people go up the hill, weeping bitterly as they go. In the name of Yeshua, on the road down, the demonic series, anguish cries uh, over the destruction are heard. In the name of Yeshua, flee, run for your lives become like a bush in the desert in the name of Yeshua since you trust in your deeds and riches you too will be taken captive in the name of Yeshua your destroyer God Shamash will go into exile together with his priests and officials in the name of Yeshua mighty warriors come against every town and none of your towns will escape. Your valley will be ruined and your plateau destroyed because Yahweh has spoken in the name of Yeshua. Your kingdom will be laid waste. Her towns will become desolate with no one to live in them. In the name of Yeshua, cursed be anyone who is lax in doing Yahweh's work. Cursed be anyone who keeps their sword from bloodshed in the name of Yeshua. Days are come when Yahweh sends men who pour from pitchers and they pour you out in the name of Yeshua. Yahweh's appointed persecutors empty your kingdom's pitchers and smash your jaws in the name of Yeshua. Then you will be ashamed of your destroyer and subduer God, Shemosh, as Israel was ashamed when they trusted in Bethel in the name of Yeshua. You cannot say you are warriors, men valiant in battle when your kingdom is being destroyed and your towns invaded in the name of Yeshua. 
your kingdom's finest young men go down in the slaughter by the mighty hand of the Yahweh Almighty in the name of Yeshua oh destroyer demons and idolaters the fall of your kingdom is at hand calamity comes quickly in the name of Yeshua mourn for her all who live around around her all who know her fame for how broken is your mighty scepter how broken your glorious staff in the name of Yeshua thou destroyer demons and idolater come down from your glory and sit on the past land and the past ground in the name of Yeshua sit down you inhabitants of the devastated city for the one who destroys your kingdom has come up against you and ruins your fortified cities in the name of Yeshua stand by the road and watch O oh, destroyer demons and idolaters you who live in ruined cities in the name of Yeshua your kingdom is disgraced for your kingdom is disgraced for she is shattered well and cry out and once that your destroyer kingdom is destroyed in the name of Yeshua judgment has come to all your towns your destroyer kingdom's horn is cut off her arm is broken by the mighty sword of Yahweh in the name of Yeshua Yahweh Shaphat let the destroyer kingdom wallow in her vomit let her be an object of ridicule in the name of Yeshua, thou destroyer demons and idolaters. Abandon your town and dwell among the rocks. Be like a dove that makes its nest in the mouth of caves. In the name of Yeshua, we have heard of your kingdom's pride. How great is her arrogance in the name of Yeshua. We have heard of your kingdom's insolence her pride her dis her conceit and the haughtiness of her heart in the name of yeshua we have heard of of her futile insolence and her her boasts accomplish nothing in the name of yeshua i well of you destroy a kingdom for the destroyer has fallen on your ripened fruit and grapes in the name of yeshua the sound of your cry rises for even the waters of your fountains are dried in the name of Yeshua for Yahweh puts an end to those who make offerings on the high places and burn incense to demonic gods in the name of Yeshua the wealth you acquired is gone every head is shaved and every bird cut off in your land in the name of Yeshua every hand of yours every hand of yours is lashed and every waist is covered with sackcloth in the name of yeshua on all the roof of the destroyer kingdom and in the public square there is nothing but mourning in the name of yeshua your for yahweh has broken the destroyer like a jaw that that no one wants the destroyer kingdom has become an object of ridicule an object of horror to all those around her in the name of yeshua yahweh's eagle is whooping is whooping down spreading its wings over you destroyer kingdom your cities are captured and their strongholds taken in the name of yeshua the hearts of the destroyer kingdom's warriors are like the heart of a woman in labor in the name of yeshua you that destroyer kingdom you the destroyer kingdom i destroy as a nation because you defy the away in the name of yeshua terror and pit and snare await you you people of the destroyer kingdom in the name of yeshua whoever flees from the terror will fall into a pit whoever climbs out of the pit will be caught in the snare in the name of yeshua for yahweh has brought on the destroyer kingdom the year of her punishment in the name of yeshua in the shadow of ruined cities the fugitives stand helpless 
for a fire has gone out from Syria to a blaze from the midst of another city in the name of Yeshua. Fire burns the foreheads of the destroyer kingdom, the skulls of the noising boasters in the name of Yeshua. People of Shemash, your destroyer God are destroyed. Your sons are taken into exile and your daughters into captivity in the name of Yeshua. Yet Yahweh declares he will still restore the fortunes, fortunes of your kingdom in days to come. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father, Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of teaching, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father, Yahweh, that you heard our confession, you heard our prayers of repentance, and after you heard, you took away our dirty garment of sin, then you dressed it with a brand new garment, even the garment of your spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, uh, that you heard our cries, our supplication, our requests, our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness. Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. Let us pray these closing prayers. Let us pray the prayer of good Lord Yeshua the Messiah left us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation but deliver us of evil for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Father, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Lord, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Now with the waving of our hands to allowing Father Yahweh, let us shout seven joyful hallelujah, seven victorious hallelujah, seven thanksgiving hallelujah to our good Father Yahweh. Hallelujah. 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 May Father Yahweh bless each and every one of this worship, please, on this prayer land. May Father Yahweh bless you as you go out. May He bless you as you come in. May Father Yahweh bless you uh, that everywhere you go, you will always meet with open doors of good opportunity. May Father Yahweh bless you by filling you with His fire of deliverance. May Father Yahweh bless you by filling with you with His water of life. May Father Yahweh make it permanent, His answers to your prayers. May he lay his right hand upon you. May he dress you in his cloud of glory. May he surround you with his edge of fire. May Father Yahweh settle you on your promised land, the land that flows with milk and honey, the most beautiful of lands. May he settle you with good health, happiness, prosperity, success, and eternal life. Go in peace. May the peace of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah be with you all. Hallelujah.